Tian Therese is one of seven siblings of Vietnamese Cardinal Van Thuan, whose life and legacy continue to serve as a beacon of hope in his native country. The late Cardinal's case is currently being considered for beatification. Tian reminisces about birthday parties, family reunions, and travels. In the family, I never seen him uh, angry with us. Even if we say thing wrong or we criticize him, he always find the way to uh, tell us to look things in a positive way or uh, to be kind to people. Francois Xavier Van Thuan was a nature lover. When he was named Cardinal, he brought a bonsai tree with him to the Pontifical Council for Justice and Peace. His other main hobby was cooking. His specialty was cooking with vegetables and fish. He loves cooking also. He loves, uh, sometimes he has time, he loves to cook for my brother, uh, for my mother. He cooks just simple porridge, I think. Cooks for his, uh, um, you know, seminarian. Yes, and cooks for invite people to come. But those happy days ended when Monsignor Van Thuan was arrested by the Viet Cong months after being appointed Bishop of Saigon. His family was forced to flee the country and his sister Tien moved with some of the family members to Australia. During the 13 years that her brother was in prison, nine of which were in solitary confinement, they received little news of his condition. Sometimes, two times, some organization uh, like uh, um, charity or uh, Caritas, um, they came to visit Vietnam um, and gave all the gifts like medicine, food, and then they asked to see if my brother is still alive. And he, they, that person was able to talk to him. But when they did receive news on Van Thuan, his mother and the rest of his family gathered to pray the rosary and thank God that he was safe. On November 21, 1988, the long-awaited news of his release finally arrived. Francois Xavier called one of his sisters to tell her the day he'd be released. My sister said to my parents, today a bishop came to visit you. And my parents dressed up and and then my brother knocked at the door and came in and my mother was so happy and my, my father couldn't speak. Tian Therese keeps the shoes her brother wore while he was in prison. But the most meaningful memento she keeps is his enduring optimism and his inextinguishable will in fighting for justice. <laughs>